at this time, at this moment, uh, I want to take two guys for trials to see how they're doing over there. Uh, What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe from Michello and I am the founder of Soccer Visa. Before we get into, the, into today's episode, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't be afraid to share this video. It helps us tremendously on our journey here in Costa Rica to build our own professional club. All right, today I wanna to speak about the clubs we work with. Why do we work with the clubs? Who do we invite to our, to our uh, pro, to, pro Player Development Center? Why do we invite these clubs? and what's the reasoning behind it. You see players like Josue Soto, who now plays for Austin Bolt, who came through our system. He went to our combine, he signed for a big club, which was Querétaro in Mexico in Liga MX, he was loaned out to Simonones, was the captain there, uh, was not offered a new first team contract, but it helped his career get started, and he's now at Austin Bolt. You look at players like Miguel Bustos, who came to our combine in New York, Benfica scouted him, didn't sign with Benfica, ended up signing with Victoria Setubo in the Portuguese Premier League, which is a huge club or a huge league. Um, unfortunately, he's no longer with the club, but we do have those success stories where players come in and sign with big clubs. But the reality is, if players are over 21, it's going to be difficult to sign with a big, big team. And why? Well, because you have players with experience from around the world that are out of contracts with experience compared to a college player, NISA player, MPSL player, who are not really considered professionals, and yes, maybe they are, and in, in, in your opinion, and things like that, I respect that, but in the grand scheme of things, big clubs don't see their leagues or their resume of playing in those leagues as notable places where they might take them. Yes, it happens, it can happen, right, if you have a sporting director or a coach or president who believes in you, but the reality is, it's hard to get players to those teams because there's players out of contract that have experience that they'd rather look at than maybe the players we have. Players we have are coming out of college, coming out of a Nice season, coming out of an MPSL season, coming out of a USL2 season. So because their leagues are not really known, they're looked at as amateur players. So for us, we can't have a team like uh, Leicester City come, and or even smaller than that. Let's say a team like Alborg in Denmark come, and they probably are not gonna take one of our players, they could, but the reality is they have agents calling them every day with players with experience. So the clubs we work with are smaller clubs where players that are older than 21 can get their career started. Remember, it took me five years, seventh division in England, th uh, second division in Iceland, USL, until I got a contract in the top league in Finland where I was able to make enough money to sustain myself. So we want to put players in front of as many clubs as we can, whether they're small or big, and give them the opportunity to start their career. Then it's up to you to see what you do with that career. Remember, you're not going to make millions of dollars right away when you get your career started. A lot of you players that are 21 and older that are looking to start their career, you're looking at zero to maybe 1500 2000 per month plus housing and food. That's the reality of the contracts you're looking at. And that's a one to three year road, let's just say, or one to three year, old, one to three year, year uh, journey and you must prove yourself as a top player in those three years to make yourself a bigger contract, if that makes sense. So today, or this week, we had Trevali from Italy who signed our players. We also had a president from a small Brazilian club come in, and they're looking at foreigners. They have a lot of Brazilian players, but they want to add some diversity to their, their uh, team, so he came as well. Now, Trevali, great club. They play in the fifth, the sixth division of Italy, trying to get promoted to the fifth. They provide housing, food, everything. And they give you a little bit of money as a salary. Now, is it a big league? No. Are you going to become a millionaire? No. But in that league, one, you can work on your game and your experience, which is so key because the league is all year round. And you look at some of the leagues in the States and college, you're not playing all year round. So these guys will get the opportunity to play all year long. Other part, they can play in the Italian Cup. They have a chance of relegation and promotion. If they do well, they're in the newspaper. And if they're in the newspaper, other teams in the area are going to take notice. Maybe an agent lives in the area and is going to read the newspaper and go see a game and say, I like that player. I want to take him from 5th Division in Italy to 2nd Division in Croatia. So there's just a lot more possibilities of playing in a lower league in Europe than there are playing in America. Now remember, everyone's roadmap is different. But for us, we want to put you in front of as many clubs as we can and hopefully someone bites and hopefully you get your career started. Yes, we have the teams in Sweden and Finland who maybe pay a little bit more, two to three thousand a month, Iceland as well. But the reality is, 
for players who don't have a name or a big CV, they must start somewhere. And that's what we do is just put you in front of as many clubs as possible. Now, let's talk about the players. So we had Noe Favela, I hope I said that right, Favela. And uh, he's a great left back. And Trevali is actually looking for a left back. So he had a good performance here. And let's hear what Lucas and Noe had to say about now his confirmed trial in uh, Noe Favela. All right. All right. What, what, what about Noe? Tell me a little bit. Yeah, Noe, I saw you for one game in, in one training session, so I think I want to see how you do with my team. I want to see how you uh, respond to how we play. I want to see you there. I want to see you being part of the club, you know, for a couple of days, maybe a week or two. And we go, we're gonna arrange everything for you while right? you're there. And depending on how you do, you stay. So it's a great opportunity for you. Thank you. You're looking for a left back? I'm looking for a left back. Okay. I'm looking for a left back. So we wanna take you there for a try and see how you do. Our next player that got a trial was Nico Toledo. And Nico's a special kind of player. He's like a Gattuso or Verratti, where he's just an engine of the team. He can win a tackle and he can do the box to box. And they weren't looking for a center mid, Trevali, but they saw him and said, this is a guy we need to take a closer look at because he adds something different to the game. And there's not a lot of players like Gattuso or Verratti out there who do a lot of the dirty work, are good on the ball, and are engines for teams. So good luck to, to, to Nico, and let's hear what we have, they had to say about him. Um, the other one is Nico Morales. So I, I wasn't, you know, really looking for a midfielder, but you stand out really well yesterday in the game, especially the first half. So I want to see you, how you do in our team as well. You know, I, we have good players. I don't have someone with their characteristics. I was talking to Joe this morning. You know, the way you play, I have midfielders, but you're different. So I want to see how you do in our team too, and give you the opportunity to try with us and see if it's a good fit for you and for us. And then the last player is Maxine. I love this story, right? Maxine is 19 years old, 20 years old, going on 20. And basically, he is a player from our youth program in America, and he has a French passport. So for him, he's been able to play for our U17s, come here to our center, and now get offered a semi-professional contract um, with this team in Italy. Now, he needs to go over there and prove himself. With that Italian passport, if he can become one of the better players in the league at such a young age, we can market him better. Um, and so can Trevali. So let's hope he goes there and does well. And this is what he had to say. And uh, Maxine. Uh, Maxine, we're going to... Yep. We're going to talk more. I'm going to talk more with Joe about you. But I want to see you developing our club. Uh, in a different situation where you can uh, join our first team, especially you have a U passport. So we're gonna talk to Joe, hear all the details. But benvenuto to Trivali. These guys could be leaving camp in the next two weeks. Yeah. So you yeah. guys could be leaving soccer. Here. So if you decide to take it, you'll be out of here in two weeks. Um, you'll train with us and you'll join them for preseason um, to see how you do on trial. So congratulations to you. Uh, for the guys that didn't get anything, it's just round one. Still got two and a half months of scouts coming from around the world. So um, good luck to you all. Good luck to you guys. That's what you're here for. May, you know, hopefully you take it. I think it's a good opportunity. And we go from there. Thank you. Now, those are three players that are going to Trevali. We've also sent three other players there, and hopefully the team gets promoted because Soccer Vita has a big impact on that club this year. If they do, it helps us grow tremendously because our phone will ring with maybe bigger clubs or clubs in the area that are similar to Trevali that saw their success from our players, and it helps us get more opportunity for players. 
but we also had a Brazilian president here. And he's played in Alborg in um, Denmark, and he's played for PSV Eindhoven in Holland. And he has a lot of contacts. And he saw one of our most decorated players, Tyler Turner, play here. Tyler was offered a trial in Alabella, didn't like it, so he decided not to take it. He was offered a trial in Pachuca in Mexico, was ready to leave, and the sporting director changed and decided that he they didn't want him anymore. So now he's still here, and he's, I mean, he's played in MLS for LA Galaxy in Orlando City. He's played in the USL. He's been the captain of the U23 national team, U20 national team, U18, and so on, uh, national team for US. And he's just a good player, so I'm hoping this contact in Brazil, who's picked up his phone and called a lot of people, can help him get his career back on track. Because he's a player that should be in the professional game, and he has the caliber to play at a very high level. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this is Tyler's chance. But again, these are two clubs. Um, every eight to ten days, we have more scouts and more clubs coming. And it's all different sizes, because our players are all different levels. And what we want to do is just expose you guys to as many opportunities as possible. It's important. You're not going to be a millionaire if you don't have a resume. Even someone like Tyler, who's been the captain of the national team, maybe the highest he's going to make is 5000 a month. But he's got to go make that 5000 be the best player at that 5000 and get a, a bigger contract, earn himself a bigger contract and more eyes. That's how football works. And I think a lot of Americans who play in college and have these million-dollar facilities that the college offers go to a team like Trevally and they're like, Man, this isn't professional. You have to understand, the professional world is different. There's different sized clubs. You look at Jamie Vardy, where he came from. Crazy Jermaine Beckford, who, who was the leading scorer at Leeds, played for Everton. These are guys that started in small clubs. They didn't even have trainers or goalkeeper coaches, some of the clubs. But they worked their butt off, right? Might have need, they might have needed another job. They might have just focused on football and knew they were in the lower division. But from these small clubs, big dreams were made. And it doesn't happen for everyone. But you gotta be able to take shit and turn it into sugar. You gotta be able to turn nothing into something. So what we wanna do, put you in an environment where you're seen by a lot of clubs, and then it's up to you once you earn yourself a contract and decide if you want that and what you're gonna do with it. All right, so thank you again for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck to the boys that are going on trial. This is the first week that scouts are here and already players are leaving. We're going to have new scouts every 8 to 10 days, Portuguese, Swedish, Slovakian. Let's get some players to move. So thank you again for watching. And remember, if you like the content, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share the content as it helps us tremendously on our journey to build a professional club here in Costa Rica. Thank you.